The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, Short Move Review. The Fellowship has split into three groups, with Frodo and Sam continuing towards Mordor to destroy the ring. They have no idea where to go, however, and fortunately they are joined by the most interesting character in the trilogy, Gollum, who is a fantastic blend of CGI and actual human acting performance, and his character is very complex. There is an uneasy alliance between the three because, you know, between Gollum and the two hobbits, because they do know what he is and what he was, and they know about his relationship with the ring, his precious. And as they approach Mount Doom, the the alliance between Saruman and Sauron continue to wind up to an all-out war on the race of man. This is a fantastic follow-up. It, with the first one having gotten all the introduction out of the way, with us having grown accustomed to this fan, this world of fantasy, this one just picks up exactly where the first one left off and just runs for 165 minutes straight. It is tense from start to finish, and while I'm not sure that there's that much more action than in the first, the action at times gets much bigger than it ever was in the first, and the climax is amazing. It is one of the biggest battles I've ever seen committed to film, and one of the most memorable as well. The film again goes into interesting themes, friendship, hope, love, loss, sacrifice, and there's genuine nuance to characters, especially such as Gollum. There is much less comic relief, and in general it's a darker film, taking us to darker places and genuinely dealing with the horrible truth of war. As such, pacifism, anti-industrialism, and environmentalism are very clear in this. This very much assumes you saw the first one, and it does have some middle film problems, such as the fact that it doesn't really have a distinct beginning or end. The effects remain a great blend of CGI and practical effects, with great prosthetics work, really making you believe that the orcs really exist. You never see them and think, it's just a dude in a mask. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.